In a major development in India's MMRCA program, Russia's MiG Corporation has offered its 4.5 plus plus generation MiG-35 fighter jet with a new advanced ACE radar system, which was unveiled for the first time at the 2019 International Air Show in Russia. The Fazatron ACE radar system had started test flight in early 2019, and it is still going through airborne tests and the production clearance is likely to be secured by end of 2021. It has extended detection range of over 180 kilometers, and can track 30 targets and engage 6 targets at the same time. MiG Corporation has also said, that the new MiG-35 offered to India will also feature an upgraded EW system, and a new automatic control system to enhance flight safety in adverse weather conditions superior combat range and a higher payload capacity. The MiG-35 configuration offered to India with technology transfer, is highly superior than the MiG-35 ordered by the Russian Air Force. As per latest media reports, the S-400 air defense systems have successfully targeted incoming hypersonic systems during a combat exercise at the Talemba training range in Russia, and top experts have said that targeting over a dozen hypersonic systems with 100% success rate is a very good news for India, as the Indian air defenses can now directly counter any next-generation fighter jet. Belarus, Turkey and China will each operate two battalions of the S-400, and as India bought five battalions of S-400 systems, their number in Indian service will be more than double that of any other export client. <laughs> Top experts have said, that India's approach to indigenization has not been yielding the desired results, as the country is majorly dependent on the public sector for manufacturing as well as research and development. China has opened up the defense industry to private sector for design development and manufacturing, and their armed forces are buying indigenously manufactured products, which are gaining incremental product improvements with the newer variants. The Modi government has taken several steps to improve the capability and production in the ordnance factories, and during a recently conducted meeting, decisions were taken to further strengthen their capability, and the financial powers of the general managers have been increased by almost 10 times as compared to previous years, for organizing input materials and bolster medical preparedness. On the first anniversary of India's successful anti-satellite test, the defense minister had said that the successful test proved India's capability to defend its assets in outer space. Defense experts have said that India has attained the full capability to target enemy communication military and surveillance satellites. A senior DRDO official has denied any plan of carrying out more anti-satellite missions in the near future, and it is up to the government to decide. The Indian Navy has enforced a series of precautionary measures on its ships, by minimizing port calls at foreign shores for logistics support and critical fuel supply, and continuous medical monitoring of its sailors. More than 20 ships are deployed at sea, and more than 3,000 naval personnel are on board these vessels.